Hi there, Phil Thompson here from Streaming Church TV to show you a little video on how to set up your Flash Media Live encoder. So first of all, if you've created a 30-day free trial with StreamingChurch.tv, uh, you need to let us know that you want to actually start testing your stream. So send us an email, support at StreamingChurch.tv, say, hey, I need my streaming uh, configuration. We will send you an email back. It's going to have a PDF file attached to it. That's your Streaming Church admin guide. And in that admin guide, there is a link to download this Adobe Flash Media Live encoder to the computer that you're going to use to stream with. Also in the guide on the quick start menu is a long, what's called an FMS link that you want to drop into this encoder once you've downloaded this encoder. You've seen double by the way because I have the encoder open here on my computer. So let's go ahead and look at this Flash Media Live encoder. Over here on the right side you want to uh, see, you'll see the FMS URL. Now there will probably be something else in this box here if you've just downloaded it. Get rid of it and then copy and paste that FMS URL link that we sent you uh, for your streaming configuration. So you just uh, copy and paste it right in here, this little box here. Make sure it's in there. And then on um, backup URL, leave that blank. And then under stream, you want to use the name live, lowercase, just live. Now, there'll probably be live stream in here, but uh, get rid of that. Just put live lowercase in here, and then that will enable you to be able to start streaming. And uh, by the way, we are going to be going with a DVR feature, which is an auto archive feature. Uh, when you have that, that that will affect your stream name. I'll tell you about that later. So you've got that set up. Go over here to auto adjust and I would suggest you click it and then click degrade quality. Uh, this enables you and your encoder will sense when your bandwidth at wherever you're streaming at. Your bandwidth is going to fluctuate a little bit and if it really shrinks down quite a bit uh, it will do some auto adjusting here so people on the other end won't get the buffering or lose the connection. Uh, under this is save to file. I would suggest if you want to save anything that you're streaming, save it to the hard drive of your computer. Click save to file. Let's go over here to the left side under the preset area. Uh, for this purpose, let's go ahead and, and go with custom. So you've got different preset options here. Let's go ahead and choose custom. Under video device, this is going to be uh, whatever video capture device you are using. You're going to have to have some kind of a video capture card or a video capture device in order to stream. So uh, now I'm just working out of my office here so I'm going to use my webcam. So I've selected, there's different things you can drop down on the right side. There's a drop down menu. When you click on that I'm going to select my Microsoft Live LifeCam HD 5000. Uh, and again your video capture device needs to be recognized by this Adobe Flash Media Live encoder. If you have a problem, let us know. Under format, I would encourage you to choose H.264. Uh, again, this is so that iOS devices can see your stream. Frame rate, this is going to vary with everybody depending on what kind of a configuration you have at your location. Uh, go ahead and go with 29.97 for now. Input size, 320 by 240. Uh, I would go over here to bitrate down below this and I would start your bitrate depending again on what you're doing but I would probably select somewhere around 200, 300, somewhere in that area, maybe a little higher but this is going to depend on, on what your upload speed is at your location and you can test your upload speed by going to our website streamingchurch.tv under resources use our test to see what your upload speed is. Under output size, uh, now this it depends on the size of your player. So from your streaming church admin area you can click your what kind of a player you want to use and the size. If you're going to go with like a widescreen 16 by 9 uh, you can click that from your admin page and then go over here and then the output size I would use for that would be 490 by 270. And again you can mess with this and you can always change these things later. Let's go ahead and go over to, towards the center here of the Flash Media Live encoder and under audio uh, device depends again on your video capture, what you're using. In this case I'm using just a microphone and you can click on this over the right side, a little arrow, it will drop down. Uh, in this case I'm choosing my microphone. Format, MP3 is what you should choose. If you have a, uh, if you're streaming from a Mac machine, if you're loading this on a Mac player, Mac machine, you will have an AAC option click AAC but for those of us on PCs it's going to be MP3. Channels click stereo. 
sample rate click 44100 and again I'm setting you up so you're able to stream on the iPhone and the iPad uh, bit rate choose 128 a little bit high for an audio bit rate but again in order for the iPhone and the iPad to be able to get this you have to click this now if you've got a Mac uh, your bit rate can be 48 or something like that okay now you're pretty much done here uh, you go over here to connect and you can click connect and then from connect you can hit the start button down here now let's say you hit connect and you have an error code make sure you go back up here to your FMS URL and check the link make sure it's it's correct and sometimes when you're copying and pasting you can get something uh, in the front of it a character or something in the front or maybe a character in the back and so make sure this this is correct and if you still have an error code when you hit connect just send me an email support at streamingchurch.tv we'll figure it out for you hey thanks for watching this video I'm Phil Thompson have a great day